Hello everybody and welcome back to Modded SimCity with me the Trunkleton. I do have a few things to show today. I have a new texture pack for the roads. There's another mod. And the first thing we're going to look at, if you remember the... Where is this? It's... Um, custom roads here. The intersection, the, the T intersection. If you remember this, hang on, let me get on a better angle so we can do this. Ah, please behave, game. I need a new camera mod. Um, let's stick it. Let's come out of this. Let's. Okay, so let's place this here. Before we couldn't bulldoze it, but now we can, and it's awesome that we can now bulldoze it. So thank you, Captain, for updating that mod and I do have an idea for this and I'm going to show you what my idea is. I'm thinking of doing it right here but what I plan on doing is I don't think I can rotate this. Okay Captain, if you're watching this please make this rotatable because this doesn't want to, it only wants to go this way as I can see. Okay, if this is rotatable, what I want to do is basically, I want to place one down and then rotate it around 180 degrees and place another one down behind it. And I think I can use that as a nice four-way intersection to an extent, so I would like to be able to do that. So if you're watching Capton, please, please do that so I can make that work in our city. I have an awesome plan for it. Our city is burning to the ground right now. <laughs> um... I think we need better police station, a uh, better fire brigade, and stuff like that for our city. But let's not worry about our city for the moment. Let us... Let's just bulldoze. Within the city, I want everything to be normal. That's not a problem. Within the normal 2k boundary. But on the 3k boundary, I'm not going to worry about that for now. Let's get our normal city stable. But let's have a look at this road texture pack. It's called the RX Road Texture Pack. It is by... Ching 67 This thing is beautiful. It's a Japanese road texture pack and as someone that's been to Japan I can say it is so very accurate. I am using You can use different colors. I'm using a shadow moon for the colors. I thought it was nice. It was very typical street colors. You got manholes and if we look in you can see a great there it also has a curb off the ground which is awesome so i think every building is going to come down slightly but that's okay it's not a problem it is beautiful and to an extent it even works on udon it has these boundaries on the highway part and this is not a highway part it's just normal street part and it works it's, i think in the mod itself it said it wasn't working for udon but it seems like it is it is beautiful. So this is our normal avenue, and as you can see, it works nice. I love these little lines on here. It is so nice. And it's not perfectly straight, as you can see. It kind of gets narrower and wider. I like that. No, no, Nothing is perfect. Or maybe it's just the angle we have it, or maybe it is straight. But the, <laughs> the angle of my screen has kind of got it a bit wonky. But I like it. It does. It kind of has this weird optical illusion to it. I really like it. <laughs> Excuse me. And in Japan, we do have these yellow lines on the on the streets. I have seen it. And the people are walking quite properly. And generally, on this side, closer to the road, is a bike lane. Oh man, this is it's working out beautifully. It is so nice. So this is, it's like I said, this is the medium density avenue. This is the high density avenue. And as you can see, it is so nice. Yeah, it creates an optical illusion, this line. It makes it look wobbly a little bit, depending on where your eye is. But it's really nice and people are protesting at our city hall. Um, as for the police station, we have. it says we have too much crime. What I am going to do is, let's just quickly... I think these uh, regional streets as well all have different if it looks to this road mod as well it is so nice i highly recommend it it'll be linked in the description so from here i want to um draw that draw the and what we're gonna do is we have a buttload of cash due to the fact 
I don't want to spend too much money on extra prison cells. We're going to come here and we're going to add the art launch arcology. Uh, let's just place it here for now. So it's out of the way. We should get tourists. The prisoners should go here. And that will be awesome. Just get it out the way. We are going to move these into this area soon. So we can try and get rid of some of the parks. I'm still trying to think out um, how to get this down to not so medium wealth. Which would be in this area. How is our power doing? I was having a few power problems before. It seems to be okay now. <laughs> I forgot to select this, the global delivery, so we were running out of coal. And as for this area here, we're going to have to get that connected soon. And I think this is going to be our main access to this part of town. We still need to straighten up this, this road here. But... The, the last the last mod we have to look at is, and this will help out with Udon a lot, is it's called the Reduced Snap Distance by, I think it's Chowlo. And if let's zoom right in here, and uh, let's just go to a clear area. Let's, hang on, let's zoom out a bit. Here's a nice clear area. So let's just get a normal road. And if we draw, we come out just a little bit. You see how small this is? Normally, it would probably draw to about there. This reduces it by about half. So we can have tiny, tiny little snap points. So we can just slowly adjust it if you want to whatever size. It's awesome. It's going to really help with with this Udon stuff. So let's just have a look. Let's say we want to come up onto this. So let's just go to Udon. And we want to create a... What is it? We want a ramp. One lane, freeway ramp. This is is this elevated? No, it's not. Elevated, here we go. So we'll just say we wanna come onto here. I am so sure we can get even closer. Let's get a nice bird's eye view on this and try it out what you hear this one, right? So if I wanna come here, see how close we can get with this? And let's say I wanna come right here and do that there. And that will work out perfectly and then join that it's still too steep okay so let's come a bit farther out with this obviously this needs a bit of fiddling around with because of uh the grade the steepness but look how small that turn is compared to before let's just drag it here no too steep i really have to do a measurement distance here maybe it needs to be perfectly straight are you gotta be kidding me? What's going on here? Maybe it's too close to this. Okay, let's just bulldoze. Uh, actually, no, let's not bulldoze that. Let's, let's have that curve out. This is not what we're going to be doing. I just want to... Why are you not curving? Oh, there we go. Alright, okay, let's just try this. It's a nice distance away from in there. Uh, ground too elevated. Really? Growth grade too steep. Let's get this straight. How far away do we have to be for this to work? What is going on here? Something... Crazy is going on. I'd say it has to be all the way out of here. There we go. Although it does make it quite nice. This would be. That works though. I really want to get this. Hmm. That really has to be a far distance away, doesn't it? I don't believe that's too close. Come on. Maybe it's my angle. Oh, that works. So that there is a distance. It seems to be... Hmm. This is not going to prove fruitful. But it seems to work. So if I wanted just a tiny, tiny entrance to this. 
So I want it to start right here. We can just do that, nice and tiny. Is that right? Yeah. I don't know why it's gone a bit derpy, but it has. I guess it's because it's on an angle. And then, you know, you could have your main road. Let's just do this here. And oopsie, not that. Get off that. And let's say I want to come on this work from here. It does. So I want to come up here. And then and let's curve this. It's the curve that's wrong here. It's not the, the, the mod. So when I go there, I don't, and we can curve to there, maybe. That's going the wrong way anyway. But it helps anyway. It's really tiny. Look at that tiny entrance we got there. It will help out a lot in building these highways. I'm sorry, that took way too long. <laughs> but it means we can get a nice design on here for this whole area. Wow, all these tourists are coming here. We have buses. Let's add a bus stop to this part. So these tourists can take buses. Oh, we got 10 prisoners in already. Let's see how our police station is doing. This is a big problem. We've got 40. The jail cells are full. Oh, yeah. I haven't fast forwarded time. Well, 10 prisoners in that short amount of time. That's not too bad. This should stop our city from running right. So I'm really happy with the mods that we got this time. The only thing I want really done is their, their captain to fix his... What is it called? The T-intersection. I think that'll work beautiful. I could always put it here as well. We could just draw throughout the... This outer city is just dying. It's because too much crime, too many deaths, stuff like that. We're making a lot of money anyway. I'm not too bored about that. But let's see. How is this? The school is full, right? We should have... We should have unlocked... Really, we need a Department of Education in the region. Oh, man. Oh, we got an upgrade anyway. So let's have a look in here. What do we have? The only two things we need is a Department of Finance and a Department of Education. And tourism. Hmm. What is it to our next upgrade? A lot of people. We'll probably reach that anyway. I have a feeling that's not going to be a problem. Uh, let's put the education down. I think it's going to be more important for our city. I would have liked the Department of Finance. It is probably my favorite module out of all of them anyway. That and utilities, they help a lot. Um, so let's go here. Let's see. How much do these affect land value? That is the question. Because it raises, it raises, why does it say raises? It raises medium wealth land value. So, if I want to stick that, right, let's bulldoze this park. This is the problem. If we can't see what's going on, maybe we should stick the big one in. We got the cash. Why not? Right. Uh, that should raise medium wealth land value a lot. Um... I don't think we will be able to see land value here. It's not going to really do anything because that's for over here. And it goes off the map. But I think it works. So then we've reduced it by one park. But then this police station turns out to be one expensive park. <laughs> so let's stick that on top. Let's stick this outside. We will not need jail cells. We're going to send them all to the moon. Uh, or oh, wherever it is they go. Let's stick a couple of these down. Um, crime Prevention Center, I think, is very important. Uh, detective Wing and Helipad, I don't care about. Detective Wing, we could probably research at a university. Which we should have available to us now. But that's going to go in our high wealth land value area anyway. So, um, we're going to leave that open for now until we can get rid of those prisoners. Which the police should take here. Yeah, we got 30 already. Uh, we got 207 criminals at large, so. 
Okay, it's orange. It says it was green. It was orange a second ago. So let's add one more set of cars to that. So this area, I think I want to add the... Maybe the clinic. Let's just pull those this. Too much crime. That's not going to last for too long. Where's the clinic? Let's add a proper hospital. And we're going to stick it on this road again. Let's just do that there. That should raise medium health health, wealth, land value. Let's stick a sign down first. Let's get it as central as possible. Wellness center, patient rooms. We can stick them on top so we're not taking up any extra space. Emergency center. Times until death is times two. That is helpful. That is really helpful. We can place that right there. Let's get a few ambuli put in first. Now what I would like, to, I would like to see a mod of a new hospital. I think that would be awesome. Same with police station, fire station. And I really want a new university. What are you? So we've got patient rooms on top. Your diagnostic lab and your a surgical center. We'll get them unlocked. Let's stick this emergency room right there and let's stick this wellness center right there. It's not a problem. Uh, it does look cool. It's a very nice hospital and it's invisible right now because got that on so it's really nice i really do like the look of the hospital and especially if you can tower it up for the patient rooms fire brigade i want to stick the fire brigade in the middle and once again we are we're gonna go with the big one because i can and let's stick it on this side because it's closer to this area let's just pop that in the and Nice big sign. Ah, uh, I want the sign there. It looks nice there. Flag. Flag pole right next to the sign. Stick you right on top there. Fire truck garage. Let's stick at least two of them. Hazmat is not down. Let's stick a fire marshal's office down. Stick that there. It's okay. So then let's stick one more of these down. Can it go in? Well, let's just do that. That's not too bad. Could be worse. <laughs> I guess I could extend this road up a bit and we could have put it all on one side. Maybe that's a better idea. Let's do that. Let's get off this. I mean, is this park in the way? Let's bulldoze the park. Let's extend our beautiful roads. They really look so nice to me. It's a normal street, isn't it? Uh, let's not have it covered, let's have it straight. Let's extend it to the... Yeah, very nice. So now let's... Let's go inside here and bulldoze these two, so people can grow in the city. Uh, I forgot to... What's going on with me today? Let's stick this there, and then that guy there. That looks cool. Fire Marshal's office is awesome. I really like the look of that. It's like a small version of this. <laughs> okay, so that's that done. How much cash? We're now losing 300 in an hour. That's not a problem. If I pause this game now and bulldoze everything in our city that is badly damaged and let it grow back, we should be in the positive. If not, I'll just demolish some stuff. This is crazy, 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 aha, how much this stuff just dies so quickly. It's all because of they don't have enough workers, mostly. And here's the fire brigade there. We can demolish the other firehouse and the hospital, that's not a problem. We need to keep the police station until the prisoners have disappeared. Because otherwise they're just going to run riot throughout our city. Look at all of this, too much crime. Oopsie. Okay, let's go to regional roads. Regional streets. I am guessing you are high. High density. Oh, yeah. Let's just get it on screen just enough to do that. There we go. Let's go back into bulldoze mode. We got 25 abandoned buildings, 6 rubble. I don't know if it's counting this stuff. It might be. Yeah, it's counting this, which is good. This is insane because 
they grow on roads and in all sorts of crazy let's, I don't care that we'll bulldoze and that let's just get rid of this come on show yourself okay that's most of it now I think 19 still let's check within our main city because that's the most important place Get this one this one uh, this one this one and this one and this one and here let's bulldoze this fire station did I just close it instead of bulldozing it like a fool there you go bulldoze that I'll do that let's bulldoze the clinic as well they're turning away patients because they're full let's have a look at this place I think we should add another patient room okay just in case this place needs to be bulldozed some nine buildings now um i'll do the rest later as long as we don't have any left in our city our main city we do we've got a lot actually um that should be close to it now let's fast forward time uh, i don't think we're gonna work on this today we're gonna save that our buses are nice and red if you haven't seen that before um Let's see, what can I do for this area? How are we for water? I don't think it's going to do much of a difference anyway. Let's put down another one of these water pumps. I still have no idea what we can do to reduce the land value here. Uh, the only thing I can think of is another power station. Um, I was thinking of something else. Um, train station maybe, but I don't really want to put trains throughout the city. We're going to have the elevated rail. And that doesn't diminish the land value. I think it should a bit. That would be awesome. Uh, so if we go through it, power, water, and sewage does. Garbage. Does. Oh, yeah. Does the... Let's see. Does this reduce land value? If it does, I guess I could place that in. It's a lot of money to waste right now when we're losing money. What are we losing money on? Police, healthcare, a lot on healthcare. But once our city is a bit better, we should be okay. We should be able to reduce that. Fire is not too bad. Not at full capacity. Okay, this is one. Stick that up to 11. Which is what it should be on anyway until I get my department of finance. Then it could be 12, 11, and 10 low medium and a high wealth but if we check out here let's have a look at this land value map I think it's still nice and green ignore the, the actual patch on the screen we're looking at the buildings as you can see here low medium and high and this is all low which is great because that's exactly what we want wanted what is going on here it's not low wealth it's just the parklets technically there we go it's got rid of that that's going to grow into medium oops did i just accidentally bulldoze it get off that let's click on it medium wealth land value awesome so we should get our nice big buildings in it's all turning out to be for the better we do have this problem of abandonment that is just going to take time especially for these factories because they need a lot of people to move in so let's upgrade these roads and let's go to medium density streets for these because we want them to grow and for now you know what i don't it doesn't bother me that this this is a medium wealth it might give us a bit of variety and look in our city you're hiding scenario and oops medium and here, medium. Oh yeah, this side of the city is fine. It was just this side. <laughs> Foolish. They will, let's see, how happy are they? They're not that happy. They're all still new. We might get these up to high. Oh, this is high density. So they're going to grow. We're easily going to reach 200, almost 300,000 people. Probably from this low density area alone. Uh, which is not too bad, not too bad in my opinion. And this is a game notification though. You heard my notification tone, it's Pikachu. 
<laughs> um, I think next episode we might start working on this. Let's see, can we draw? Just that one last thing to do today. Let's get Udon on the go and let's see if we can draw across. If I hold shift, we're too close there. That's close enough, but what we want to do is press M. No, we cannot draw over this. So what we will have to do is... Um, do we go around it or do we move this? I think we will move this to this side of the map. And have this just come down a smidge more on both sides. And then we can place that in there. And that's the better idea. Our buses are doing a good job. Did we cap it out? We did not cap it out. So let's do that. Because we're going to need... Do you see how the, it's the Union Jack pattern here? They're actually going to be red. Let's place that there. For now. Let's place a sign on this fool. And place that there. That's awesome. Um. Yeah, that's cool. They're red, nice and red for England. The proper way it should be. Not the Union Jack. I don't actually like that look of that. So let's just place down a university before we finish this episode. Not approved. Oh, we need 800 students today. Okay, let's just. Uh, what am I doing? High school. Let's place a high school down. Uh, let's plot. Plot. <laughs> Uh, let's place this on top and maybe one more. Place a sign so people know where to go and a flag. Let's just add a couple of these here. What is the school's capacity? 2,800 students. So we can now bulldoze this. We will, we will just upgrade to a university once we've got 800 students in class. It should not be a problem. Lots of people moving in, which is awesome. Um... Uh, we do have a lot of traffic around here, and I know the reason why. It's because everyone's coming through the tunnel. That will change soon. That will change next episode. Uh, before I start next episode, I do plan on demolishing all of this again. I, uh, I think I just zoned it too early. If we look here, very quickly before we leave, we do have... That's got to be a lie. We have available jobs. Well, maybe not, because half of these are all dead anyway. Uh, medium wealth is not a problem. If we look at the factories, we have zero unfulfilled freight orders, which is fine. I'm guessing that's what the problem is now, rather than jobs, is unfulfilled freight orders. Once all of this is high wealth, uh, not high wealth, high density, and all this is high density, I am hoping we don't get as much abandonment. It's saying too much crime, not enough places to ship freight, I can believe that. That might be a problem as well, not enough places to ship freight. I do plan on making, not all of this, but some of this shops. We do have unsatisfied shoppers, so we will be changing that up hopefully soon. We're going to start getting the city on track to where we need to be going, and then we will start figuring out our high wealth area. Hopefully some other mods come along. Actually, I want to place down one other mod before we go. Is it in the town hall area? No, it's got to be education. Yeah, let's put the museum down while we can. Let's place that right there. We've got to have that in the city. That's one of the best mods. I hope we get more mods like this. A ploppable mod that is useful. Does it say it raises medium wealth land value as well? It draws in both tourism and local popul populace to be enlightened by the culture wonderful contained within. Your local sims might even get some free education out of it. So it acts like a library. And a tourist attraction at the same time. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's awesome. I want to thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. I do hope you download this road texture mod. It is beautiful. I really like it. I think it's going to add some wonderful niceness to our city. And yeah, it's so nice. Look at it. Just look at it. People are using it properly. They're staying within this yellow line. It is awesome sauce. I want to thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to watch some more, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.